Hi there, I'm Mike. What I have for you today is a Geek Fuel box. These are back to monthly boxes. I believe this is August's box. I've been a little late because I'm already torn. That's not how that song goes. Anyways, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a little punch drunk right now. I'm not really drunk or punched, but I just feel I'm tired and my mind's all over the place. But I want to get these boxes out because I put them on the back, but I've had them for weeks and I just haven't done them. And now is as good a time as any, because I have some time. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open here. Um, I'm, I think I'm almost done. I think this is either box four or five of Geek Fuel. I, I haven't looked in a while, but uh, I should be getting close. I, I pre-ordered six months of this. And um, so far, they've been okay. I don't know if it's been good enough to convince me to get another six months or even another month, but uh, we'll see. I have a little pamphlet. Oh, this is kind of fun. There's a little movie theater here going on. So we've got we've got Sloth from The Goonies. We've got Michelangelo. There's something here I'm not quite sure of, and it looks like Bill and Ted down here, which by the way, saw Bill and Ted 3. Chef's Kiss, absolutely loved it. This is, T this is Teen Wolf. Just, just to give you a little idea of some of the things you're gonna be seeing in this. First out of the box, we're gonna do this suspiciously phone booth shaped, this looks like a butthole. <laughs> uh, I'm 12. So this is the t-shirt. Yes, this is my jam. Bill and Ted's been one of my favorite movies of all time for forever. This is, uh, yeah, Wild Stallions. And if you haven't seen Bill and Ted 3, do it. It's super good. Yeah, let's go ahead and try it on. One, two, three. Ho, 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 yes. Yes, son, I'm talking to you. I like this, it's a good color. It's got the wild stallions on it. We've got Bill S. Preston, Esquire, and Ted Theodore Logan, played by Alex Winter and Keanu Reeves. So, what's not the love about this shirt? Nothing, that's the answer. That's two months in a row, I'll say the Geek Fuel has given me some of the best t-shirts in my collection. So this seems to be just like 80s kind of theme. This is 89. What else is in here, I guess? Let's go ahead and, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, uh-huh, I like this. So this is, ooh, it's a little broken on the bottom. That sucks, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reaction figure from Super 7. This is Raphael, I wonder who else I wonder if people got different ones. I think there were, there were different ones were listed on the box here, this one, but Raphael is highlighted, but all four turtles are there. I dig it. This is basically, they're doing like a three and three quarter inch figure line, which the turtles never were, but in the style of those, I like it. He comes with his little weapons. Get a little close up on that. Look at that. That looks super, super good. That looks great. Look at that box art right there. And on the back, so far I think we've gotten a reaction figure in everything, which is nice because I've got some reaction figures. I don't open these. I don't know why. I, I open everything else. I open tons of stuff. But these reaction figures, something just, I like the packaging as much as I like the figure. And they look good hanging on the wall. So I've got some transformers and stuff on there. So I'm probably gonna put this right next to it up there, but I really, really like this. This is a good, good figure. Next, we've got... Oops, I just dropped the box. Next, we have a puzzle. I think it's a Goonies puzzle. I think it's, yeah, it's designed in Astoria, Oregon. It's, uh, I'm not gonna, obviously I'm not gonna open it, but I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna do it. Look at that. It's a puzzle that's supposed to look like the Goonies, which is fun. It's a treasure chest here. It's got some gold on there. The font definitely reeks of the Goonies there. I don't know if it reeks, it's like it smells, but uh, I mean, let me get this out here. I don't look at everything because I want to somewhat be surprised here. This 300 piece puzzle probably won't lead you to pirate treasure, but hey, you guys, it still provides a few hours of fun. So it's definitely supposed to be Goonies themed without breaking any copyright material. I dig it. As always, there's a little bonus sticker in here and it says be excellent to each other. That's actually a rad sticker. I usually don't do anything for stickers. They're not like plus or minus anything, but they've been like just geek fuel stickers. I like this. This is gonna go somewhere, 
on something that I appreciate because number one, it's a good motto, and number two, it's quite l clearly Bill and Ted. Uh, and then last but not least, we have these little pins here. These are Geek Fuel. They're Teen Wolf pins, and I just have to say, I hate. I, I don't really hate Teen Wolf, but I never liked Teen Wolf. It was a Michael J. Fox movie where he turned into a wolf and did basketball. There was actually a TV show around it that did not star Michael, Michael J. Fox. There's also sequels that I'm pretty sure again didn't star Michael J. Fox. I think it was just the first one. I just, I've never been a fan of Teen Wolf. I just, I don't, I don't care, I've never cared. Even as a kid, where that would have been like uh, up my alley and geared towards me, Still didn't care. So I'm gonna get this together and give you my thoughts on the box. Okay, so let's break the box down. What are my thoughts of it? There's only like four items in this box if you count. I'm not counting the sticker as an item. I'm just, I refuse to. The pins I feel like are an item, but what's, what's sad about it is Geek Feel used to do these fantastic enamel pins. This is literally just like a, some guy bought a pin machine, a little pin thing and makes them for Geek Fuel on the cheap, which sucks. But I feel like I could buy this from anyone, whereas the pins they used to do had a lot of thought. I don't know, just a lot, a lot of love behind them. They were high quality, they were great presentation, very professional. These are the opposite of that. So the pins, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna give 0.25. No, I'm not gonna give any points. I'm not giving any points for the pins whatsoever. This is a throwaway item, but to me, they're also only worth half a point. I don't wanna make this worth the same amount of points as everything else in this box, because they are obviously just kind of filler throw-in items, but it, I mean, a filler item's worth a half point now. So, zero points out of a half point. The shirt, great color, great fit, great property, absolutely love it, full point. The Ninja Turtle, everything I said about this is true for this. Great color, actually I prefer, I would have preferred Michelangelo, I'm just gonna throw that out there. But at the same time, I don't really care. Ninja Turtles are Ninja Turtles and I love everything about this. So it's even unpunched, which is kind of fun. This is getting the full point as well. The puzzle, that's kind of cool. It's cool they gave us a puzzle. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that at some point. 300 piece puzzle, it's kind of fun just to go through and I like Goonies. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that the full point as well. So out of three and a half points, it's getting three. So three out of three and a half, that's a really good score. I feel like for the 20 bucks or whatever this box goes for, this, this, and the shirt, 100% worth the money. Don't really care about this. The sticker's a nice throw in. I do want to say I missed I missed the computer games they did. That was fun, but yeah, that's everything in the box. I just want to make sure I didn't, I didn't miss anything. I guess there was a uh, an alternate sticker I could have gotten that was, it looks like maybe uh, it would have been a Teen Wolf one, and I'm very glad I didn't get that one. So to sum it all up, I'm giving this a three out of 3.5. That's about a B, it's like an 86% or something like that. That's a really good score. I definitely feel like it's worth the money. So definitely, if you want to, there's a code down in the downstairs area you can use to buy one of these. I think it still works, I'm not entirely sure. Ever since they moved over to the new system, I'm not entirely sure codes work, but if they do, you can. If, if you just want to buy on your own, like I don't really, I don't really care that much. You do you, but I definitely like this box. So that's it. Let me know down the downstairs area what you thought of the box. Did you get it? Do you just like watching my unboxing videos just because you like watching my unboxing videos? I love to read and respond to all of those comments. I'd also like to take a moment to thank these people here for supporting me on Patreon at an unboxing level or higher. Thanks so much, guys. It means a lot to me that you do that. If that's not your thing, I do have a YouTube membership, and then also, you know, you don't have to do anything. But if you could like, share, and subscribe, it does a lot to help out the channel. And that's it. Thanks for watching, thanks for getting this far, and I'll see you later. Bye.